Takeda. Foolish boy. Good enough to beat you. Not on your fastest day. Round one, fight! <laughs> As powerful as Kenshi. I like to think so. You like it too much, I think. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Takeda wins. Guess who got paid to kill you? Hope they didn't pay in advance. No complaints so far. Round one. Fight! The gun is the best defense. Wow, that hurt to watch. Round two, fight! <laughs> Takeda wins. Ready, Takeda? Ready and waiting. This will end quickly. Round one, fight! Takeda wins. Ah. 
Shujin. Crime against nature? Sharp tongue, dull mind. Round one, fight. For the pain, give up. Round two, fight! <laughs> Takeda wins. Takeda. This area is off limits. Not to me, boy. Round one, fight!
Vegeta wins. Fatality. Takeda. Can we avoid this for Jackie's sake? Afraid she won't like your busted face? Round one. Fight! Bow to the Emperor. I'd rather go a couple rounds. As you wish. Round one, fight! <laughs> Wow, that hurt. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Vegeta wins fatality. You exude psychic energy. I do, Goro Half Dragon. It matters not. Round one, fight. <laughs> Run along, child. I'll be staying right here. Then playtime has ended. Round one, fight! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Wow, that hurt to watch. With Shinnok defeated, Takeda and his father set out to find his mother's killer, a member of the Red Dragon Clan. Special Forces Tech enabled Takeda to locate the clan's base and disguise himself and Kenshi as they infiltrated their ranks. Deep within the mountain stronghold, Takeda discovered an actual dragon, a prisoner of the clan. The creature used its magic to define the murderer's name, then transport Takeda and Kenshi to a faraway cave. There they discovered a man encased in a stalagmite. The dragon had said this man would also have reason to confront Su Chin's killer. Takeda began to free him. Foolish boy. Good enough to beat you. Not on your fastest day. Round one, fight! <laughs> 